in there. Now, an easy way to delete out data would be Control A. Control A just highlights everything. A lot of times if you have a really lot of data in here, like it might be a really big data set, um, again, highlighting and trying to drag down to the bottom may take a long time. Control A and delete works really well. So Control A and then delete. Now I'm going to push Control V, which is paste. There we go. Now this is raw data. Okay, raw data. So I'm going to click the button that says raw data. Now does it does your data have a header row? Header row just means a title. Does your data have a title? Now I will say this, once in a while with StatKey and with other programs as well, sometimes they won't take the title, especially if you have question marks in the title or weird, um, you know, you might have quotes or something like that in the title. Sometimes you might get an error message. If that's the case, what I usually do, if I see that error message, a lot of times I'll delete out the title and then I'll uncheck this box that says header row. Let's see if it takes it. So I put header row because it does have a title and this is raw data, it's uh, raw categorical data column of words. Okay, if I push OK, that oh, looks like it took it. Great. So this graph you're seeing is called a bar chart, right? We went over that on the last video. This is a bar chart. If you notice, it kind of lights up. It's very interactive, so I can see. And if you notice, it has the same counts that I found um, with uh, Excel just a minute ago. It also gave me the total. Right? And it calculated the proportion for each one, which is very nice. So basically, again, we learned last time that the proportion would be this count divided by the total. So 71 divided by 328, rounding to the thousandths place, the third number to the right of the decimal, is the estimated proportion right there. So that's nice. At a, at a, and I can just see this really quickly. I can see that about... 21.6% of the students preferred Snapchat or used Snapchat the most, and 37.8% and, uh, used Instagram the most, and so on. You can also see from the graph that I can see which ones were the highest, right? Instagram was the one that was used the most, and the one that was used the least, which was the other. other. Okay, so this is a very easy and nice way to um, kind of count your categorical data and you get some basic numbers and proportions calculated for you. Um, I can do something very similar on StatCato. So in StatCato, if we open StatCato, now the one thing about this was this had this data set was 325 uh, values in the categorical data. Um, the StatCato has a 300 limit. Uh, if you go down here, it says 300 is the default limit for StatCato. So if you ever have a data set that's over 300, you'll need to add a few rows before you copy and paste. So um, probably if we just added another 50 or 100 rows, it should be fine. So to do that, we'll go to Edit and then Add Multiple Rows. You'll see Edit and then Add Multiple Rows. Okay, I'm going to click on that. And then you just type in how many more rows you need. It already has 100, so I'm just going to type in another 100 so that my, my columns go to 400, and that way I'll be able to copy and paste the entire data set. If you no notice now, if I go down to the bottom, it's going down to 400 now. So don't forget. Now, when you're copying and pasting into a program like StatCato, and a lot of programs are like StatCato, Minitab, StatCrunch, there's all kinds of programs on the market that are very similar, always remember where the titles go. Titles go where in the usually in the gray, where it says VAR in StatCato. This is where your title has to be. You don't want your title where it says number one. You always want your title in the gray. So always click the gray cell above the column when you're when you're copying and pasting if your data has a title. So if I go back to my data here that I've copied and I've copied in Excel and then I'm just going to paste. So I'm going to do control V. Now StatCato is a um, Java program. It's free. Works actually reasonably well, but it's not super fast. It does sometimes take a little while if you have a bigger data set to copy and paste. So this one didn't take too long to copy and paste. Now, uh, one easy graph that I went over in the last video that is very useful is called a pie chart, a pie chart. And I like the pie charts in um, StatK. 
Mercado, obviously, actually, a stack key doesn't have pie charts. It has bar charts. Um, but uh, we could make a pie chart. If you go to graph, so in Staccato, statistics you calculate are usually under the statistics menu and graphs are under graphs. It's a pretty nice system. So if I go to graph and I'm just going to look for pie chart. So there's pie chart right there. Now you have the choice. You can have the uh, categories and frequencies as if you already know the counts. So if I knew the counts, I could actually use those to make the pie chart. But if you have raw data, like this is raw data, I want to click data value from worksheet. That means uh, data values from worksheet means it was raw categorical data. Now I just have to click on what column was my data in. So in this case C1. Sometimes in Staccato you'll type in the column. So you would type in C1, column 1. Um, notice that you it, it's a pie chart. You can, you can actually change the title if you want. So if I wanted to change the title to say social media, maybe I was going to use this in a report or something. Social media pie chart. Uh, and you can play around with these buttons, sort by categories or sort by frequencies. Um, if you click one or the other, it just makes the pie chart look a little different, but it'll give you the same information. This one right here, show legends. Anytime you click Show Legends, that means it's going to put a title on it for you. So I really didn't have to type this title here. And if I just push OK, let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. So you know, not only do I have the counts for each group, but I also have a percentage. Now notice these percentages were rounded to the ones place. I actually would like a little bit better accuracy, but stack. Staccato rounds to the ones place. So it's approximately 9%, approximately 22%, approximately 8%, and so on. Okay, so that's the pie chart. Um, by the way, if you want to copy and paste this graph into, uh, let's say, a Word document or something, um, you won't be able to do Control C on the, on the Staccato graphs. Um, mainly because they're sort of interactive. So what you do is you actually, they have a special button for copying. You just go to the graph menu and you just click this button that says copy graph. So copy graph to clipboard. If you click on that, then you can, or you can save your graph on, your, on a file, um, but copy graph and then you can um, paste it into your Word or, your, or uh, whatever document that you're um, making your report on. So don't forget to copy this. You have to actually click graph and copy graph. I always get students that email me like, I can't get the graph to work. I keep pushing control C and it's not working. Yeah, uh, usually control C works, but this is one of the few cases times that it doesn't. Um, now, if you had the summary counts, if you had the summary counts, remember we did this one here. Here's the summary counts when I had already counted. Let's suppose I already knew this data. I had already counted it and I actually just wanted to make a graph on it. Um, I could go ahead and paste that in. Now one thing I think you notice is that I did was when I was copying and pasting I was doing control V but I did highlight, I kind of did this, I highlighted two cells when I was pasting. For some reason I noticed that that helps if you're actually copying and pasting two columns. Um, again Staccato is a you know, uh, kind of a slow Java program. So you want to be careful. Usually I copy and paste things uh, one column at a time just because it, it can be have issues sometimes. Cop if you highlight two columns, it kind of tells Staccato that you're going to be copying and pasting two columns. Now these were the counts. So this one was the counts, or sometimes we call that the frequency. And these are the titles, right, or the categories. So sometimes we'll say that, categories, or you could say the titles. Now, if I wanted to use this data to make the same pie chart, I would go to graph and pie chart. But now I have summary data, so I click summary data. And where it says categories, that's looking for the names. So I'm going to click column three there. And my frequencies, that's another name for the counts. So that's going to be column four. If I push OK, you get the same graph. Now, by the way, if you remember in stack key, they had a bar chart. I can actually do this with, with um, a bar chart as well. If you go to graph and bar chart, now be careful. Histogram and bar chart 
uh, are not the same thing. Remember, a bar chart is for categorical data. A histogram is for numerical measurement data. It's like a bar graph that it's for quantitative data. So don't click histogram, click bar chart. Bar chart's for categorical, histogram is for quantitative. So um, bar chart. And again, I can, um, so the, the um, when you do the bar chart in Stat Cato, uh, it really doesn't have a button for um, well, raw data. You actually have to have the counts. So, uh, but what you do is this button right here where it says select a column variable for a new series. They're really looking for the counts or the frequencies. So if I click frequencies there, and you do have to push this add series button. It's kind of weird. And now where's the categories? This is the names of your categories. So mean was column three. By the way, you can make a vertical or horizontal bar chart. Um, the vertical one will look a lot like the one in stat key. But if I click horizontal, we can just kind of see what that looks like. You can kind of see it has now the bars are horizontal, which is kind of cool. So, but it gives you basically the same information that we got in uh, the stat key graph. So this is the bar chart. Um, I can, I can uh, go ahead and make it in vertical if I want. So bar chart, just click this button that says vertical. Don't forget the add series button. And there's the bar chart. Uh, okay, so these are some of the graphs and, and statistics that you can calculate with, um, with StatKey and StatCato and Excel. So I'm hoping this was helpful for you. So this is Matt Show in Intro Stats, and I will see you next time.